$65,000 worth the chicken. What do you do with $65,000 worth of chicken? I mean, yes, it's Super Bowl week. That's the closest thing to a holiday the chicken wings get, but to steal $65,000, to steal $65,000 worth of chicken from your own job? I heard the story, and my first response was, please, please, Lord, please, please, Lord, don't let them be African American. Just once. Just give us once. Honey Boo Boo, you hooked us up on Honey Boo Boo. You really did. Yes. <laughs> and of course they were. Of course they were. I was pissed. Fucking flip a desk. Thanks a lot, guys. Huh? We've been doing good lately. All these years are not fucking up, man. You, you selfish son of a bitches. I mean, I could understand if it was like $65,000 worth like the gold or some shit. Hell, even $65,000 worth the J's. Worth the Jordans. I, it, it, it makes more sense. How are you going to unload the merchandise? I mean, you can't go on Craigslist. $10,000 worth of chicken wings. Sell as is. You gonna sell frozen chicken on Craigslist? Huh? You gonna eBay the chicken? Huh? You gonna eBay the chicken? You know what? Just like with the sexual predators, whenever they move into a new neighborhood, they need to go, they need to go door to door and tell people, you know, I stole $65,000 worth of chicken from my job. What look do you give to justify the fact of you doing that? The rent was due. My job had given me less hours. Shit got real. And I got realer. And like someone in the back asked him, uh, what are you going to jail for? Who asked him? Who, who called on him? Do we know that guy? And the minute you ask me what I did to have to go to jail, instantly get pissed. Get that shit on out of here. Hmm? Huh? The fuck up. How about that shit? The fuck up. Next question. The stick up had to be the funniest shit you ever seen in your life. Hands up, everyone. You think I'm playing? Don't you move, baby. Don't you move here. I'm going to put five hot ones in your ass. You think this is a game? Hey, you there. Hey, you. Hey, quit looking at my face. Huh? There's a robbery, son. Quit looking at my face. Tell her, bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Please. I'm, I'm so sorry. It's the, 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 the money. The money is in the back room. A guy comes into an establishment pointing a gun and you think he wants money? I ain't do all this shit for money. <laughs> Get the chicken. Riverside, motherfucker. You know what the moral of the story is? If you're going to commit a crime, at least do some shit as to where when your kids recite back to you the story that they heard on ABC News, you don't have to sit there and look at them and be like, 